Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 26 of the Power World series. I I guess my Alpha Dran is attempting a murder spree right now. You know, we actually, we're level 30, we might be able to take on this mammoth. We do have some pretty big balls. We're not just rocking them standard pal balls anymore. Sure, we'll try to take on this mammoth, but once we're done with that, the goal for today's episode is heading as north as we can. Yeah, that's some pretty good damage. I'm gonna dismount. Because that's usually the best way to handle these situations. So that I simply work in tandem with the pals that I have. Damn, Elphadran is already down to half health. I mean, so is the Mammoth, but... Yeesh. Doesn't have a health bar, so I, I think we'll withdraw the Elphadran now. Oh dear. So I'm assuming there's absolutely no chance to ca- Oh, it, it died. It died from fire damage. I just... You- What? You- Why? Why do you do this to me? Well, we got some leather and some pal oil. Mamrest meat. I'm sure that's heavy as hell. Now I'm going the opposite of what I want to do. We are going straight north without a thought, right? As north as can be, that's going to be us. You and me. Rubies. We don't have any of these bars. Hmm. I don't think it'll survive a crossbow attack. But it says if I just chuck a sphere at it, there's a 28% chance to catch. So I guess we'll just do this repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Just chuck spheres. I mean, I have plenty of them. I don't have to worry about it. This isn't really the goal, but it never hurts to get more levels. The higher level I am, the higher level my pals can be. And it seems like if you're higher level, you just get more XP innately. Come on, just stay in the spheres. Can this one survive crossbow attack? Yeah, you can. That's a good little ruby. Be you know, tanky and such. What's that in the distance? Oh, it's just a cativa. Not really the objective. Two shakes. There you go. And a boy. Oh, there's another mammoth. We can try this again. Preferably with more success this time. There's a lot of berries here. We'll dismount, and the Alpha Drain's our flying unit, so we'll actually start with the War Sect. So him and I are gonna pick a fight with this Mamrest. Since he's so tanky, I'm hoping he can just mono e mono this fight for the most part. Yeah, it seems like he should be able to. And, unlike the Alpha Dran, I don't think he's going to be catching the thing on fire and accidentally killing it before I can even try to catch it. Hell, my crossbow is doing more damage than expected. Maybe I could have just done all this myself. Okay, let's see what that power shot does. Nothing. Cool. It will draw him in now, and now it's just me and the Memorest. Damn, this thing's tornadoes suck. Yeah, we're going to have to stop there. Thing's almost dead. Can standard spheres? It's a 0 0.03. No matter how many balls I chuck at it, I don't think that's happening. Ouch. There goes my entire thing. Shield. Megasphere. 4%. Oh, 5%. Not bad. Just avoid the tornadoes. We'll just start slowly going up the tiers until we catch the thing. Oh, that's one shake. Two shakes, really? <laughs> awesome. Sometimes RNG is actually on our side. It's surprising, honestly. Just grab these berries. No? Okay, I'm hitting F, but it's just not doing it. I guess I'm just timing it wrong. Nightwing? No, we don't need it. Let's see what's up here to the north. We haven't been to this portion of the map yet, so we might start seeing some things that we've never seen before. Uh, Masanda. I think we got ours from a cage, but we'll go ahead and just capture this one. It's level 25, so we might actually be able... Ouch. Ow. It's hit me with the Gatling gun. Stop that. Yeah, this thing takes mad damage from fire. Body shot. There we go. Try to catch it. Yeah, we can do normal spheres. 5% is... Well, it's fine. 4%. Did he heal? <laughs> I think it's because he was on fire when I first threw the sphere at him. And now he's not. From what I understand, every status effect that the pal is suffering increases your capture rate by like 5 or 10%, something like that. Oh, now we had one shake. We've got nothing but spheres in time. I'd rather not have to waste the expensive resources on something I don't really need right now. Although well, I could replace the deer at the other base with a Mossanda, since they're just all around better. It's not a bad idea. Just one shake? Ooh, nope, nothing. Just straight Alpha Dran tail in the screen. Because <laughs> the Mossanda keeps going higher every time I throw a sphere at him. Just let him hit the ground real quick. Yeah, it's more convenient. Listen, it's only 4%. But if you multiply that by 678 spheres, it's basically 100. Is that another Mossanda? Could try to capture multiple at the same time. Sure, we'll do that. Why not? I just gotta make sure we don't accidentally kill this one. Oh, two shakes. We got one. Nice. There's a second one that's running away over there. <laughs> he, he approached and they just gave up halfway through. Let's so use the dragon breath. Yeah, you can take the whole brunt of that, can't you? What a tanky boy. This one is just... 
<laughs> They're just running at me. Was that a punch? That's adorable. What the hell? A little Mossenda punch. This thing is far more mascot than terror. Okay, how's the catch rate on that? 2%. Oh no. Let's hit this one with a dragon breath. Don't run into the dragon breath. Are you insane? <laughs> it ran up to the other one and just like stood in its face for no reason. These Mossandas are real characters. Oh, 2% and 3%. Really rocking them high numbers here. Oh, don't, don't, don't. I accidentally left clicked with the Elphadran. Almost started using my breath on them. Crap, gonna dismount with him. Get on something else. Don't attack. There you go. a boy. What is that? Is there something behind me too? Oh no. What is this? Not have time for you guys. Let's try to hit him with the melee, I guess. Trying to be tactful about this, but keep getting blindsided. Don't even have time to load my crossbow. Oh, there we go. It'd be nice if you could throw the spears at the same time that you load the crossbow, but sadly you're limited to two arms. Just hit this thing with the crossbow, I guess. Keep trying to catch them. Lure them away from the- oh no, I'm in the water. Uh-oh. Uh, we have to dismount and climb. This is not great. Nope, draw in the dog so he doesn't kill anything. Capture the Mossenda. <laughs> this is just pure chaos. Start shooting these nerds. He's T-posing on me off in the distance. No, they killed one. What's wrong with you guys? That guy was doing nothing to you. Okay, back on the dog. Get him in the sphere so he can't be hit, and he's dead. Damn. I got some leather, I guess. <laughs> Down like a hundred pal spheres. All because of these damn humans. Well, you guys gotta be out here ruining my day like that. That was some XP. You ruined it for me. Mars. Well, I guess we'll just get back on the Elphadran and continue sailing north. What is that? Is that bees? We're gonna be running across. Ooh, there's more Mosenda too. Hmm. I do want that XP. I'm sure the desert's gonna be like level 40 or something, so gotta be ready for that. Let's take out the smaller bees first. Try to do as much as we can and then catch them. Are you going to self-destruct already? Nope. Going up, going up, going up, going up. Jeez, man. they <laughs> just starting off the game strong. These things don't mess around at all. Oh, that thing's on fire. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Spheres. 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 Come on. No? No chance to catch. Well, now the Alpha Drain's all messed up. <laughs> they don't even give you a vague chance to try and catch those before they self-destruct, huh? Okay. Well, I'm gonna let the dog do some damage to this thing. Yeah, get him. Just a little bit more. Yeah, that should do. Oh, now you're on fire. How did that happen? Spheres. 10%? That's pretty good. At least I think. Oh no, it's on fire. Right. Uh, it might die when it comes out. Maybe. 11%. That's pretty good. And now it's not on fire anymore, so the percent is dropped. Let's hope we don't get attacked by a wild roaming gang of humans this time, hmm? Two shakes? Yeah, that's the good stuff. Back onto the Alpha Train. And we do have Mossanda up here. It looks like one of them is already irritated, so look at his health low. Ouch. <laughs> Just chucking rocks at me, huh? Yep, do your thing. Probably actually draw him in and use the War Sect. Actually, wait, no. This one's already low on health. We might have to just do this ourselves. Probably. I can do plenty of damage with a crossbow anyway. Is that a punch? Get that away from me. Just gotta keep one in the sphere. Keep the other one chasing me. Ouch, 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 ouch. That Gatling thing hurts. There we go. Now they're both roughly the same level, so I can just focus on keeping them in the spheres. Oh, we got two shakes on one of them. That's good. They're good woodcutters. It's good to have them. That'd be nice if there was something like a Gatling crossbow. I'd be willing to craft a couple thousand arrows and keep them in my inventory. One shake? Nothing. Well, <laughs> this is what it is to be stingy. Oh, two shakes. We've got it. Back to the Alpha Dread. This pal is taking an absolute beating through this little tirade across the map. More humans, huh? Let's eliminate them before they do anything stupid. Sure, they will. They love doing stupid things. Can I sprint into them? No, it doesn't work on humans. Damn, that was hopeful. Well, they drop arrows. I guess that's something vaguely useful. There's more of them down here. Ooh, and a B. B grade. So these are the ones that self-destruct. Oh, the humans are causing problems again. 
Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's gonna blow. Okay. Well, they have to dismount the Alpha Dread again. <laughs> this is becoming a non-stop issue. Oh, and they killed my bees. What the hell, guys? Can you just stay out of my business? Oh, they dropped gold too. Good. It'll be used to pay for your funeral. Just, just stay down. It's not worth all the, all the hassle you're making it for. You know, if you and your buddies didn't attack me in the first place, I'd have just let you live. I can tell this one's not a Dark Souls player, because he's got terrible roll timing. Found a nice little river. It's a flat spot over there, too. And we have more B-grade. Let me guess, you gotta immediately self-destruct on me? Yeah, oh, it staggered it. I just hit it a few more times. But if I can just, if I could hit it, if it has a hitbox at all, be nice. Oh, crap. Here we go. Run, 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 run. <laughs> nice. Try to hit this one a few times with a crossbow. Now, they're surprisingly tanky for how small they are. All right, I think we'll be able to catch this one. That self-destructing crap is real annoying. I see more of them Gora rats over there. I might have to get them too. Even if I fail to catch them, I can still get the bones from them, which is needed for cement. Let's continue north. Check out this flat area. Around. Oh, another B-grade. I see. Well, come on. Let's go. Ooh, almost wasted. 8%? Wait, is he on fire? No, he's not. Which means I can actually take him. If I... Well, now, now I'm being targeted by the Gora rats. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just fighting everything at once. Trying to catch all the things at the same time isn't the best plan. Oh, oh, the Gora rats killed my bee. Damn it. Well, I guess I'll just stick with catching the Gora rats then. Yep. They're gonna keep hitting my dog, so I gotta pull him back. One of them is about as low as they're gonna get. This one, though, he could take some damage. Yeah, he can definitely afford to take some more damage. Oh, we got one of them. Two shakes. Is that another bee? Well, if I can keep the Gora rat from killing it, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh, crap. I gotta go up. I gotta go up. Oh no, is he gonna kill the Gora Rat? He sure is. I don't like this place. <laughs> I don't like this place at all. Where's my Alpha Dren? Man, I'm so done with this place. If we find any bosses, we'll enjoy them. But otherwise, it's only gonna be like, separated creatures. Like these dire howls. I can get these pretty easy. Weird. I attack this one and the others are just ignoring it. It's very weird. I got spheres for days. Guys looking to play around. You should probably just stay in the spheres. Just saying. Of course, the creatures that are native to the easy area didn't serve any problems. No self-destructing bees, just the rarer things like the Gora rats. Ooh, is that a chest? Ooh, free stuff. Crack that open. Coins and arrows. I guess that counteracts a little bit of the arrows I've been wasting to run through this strange stone outcropping. Is that a human? Hmm. Must delete. Damn, these guys have some serious auto-aim. They always seem to hit me in the head. Always hit the head. Bunch of jerks. Well, it'll help me restock my arrows at least. At the cost of some of my Alpha Drance health, which will recover over time. Oh no, I see more bees. I don't know if I want to get involved. Let's just get this quick travel point that's on the map here. Ooh, a chest. Free stuff. Moss Sanda, just ignore that for now. Just get this quick travel point and then go catching everything. Oh no, there's a lot of bees around here. <sighs> I don't know if I want to deal with them. Yeah, let's just keep going north. If we keep dilly-dallying and trying to catch ten of everything, we'll never get anywhere. Like ever. So, we're gonna head straight north and ignore everything that's aggressing. However, we'll grab these chests. Anything for a chance for pal souls. They're rare enough that you should just grab them every time. Uh, well, there is a Gora rat here. We could take this. It's all separated from everything else. Yeah. You're mine. Should be easy enough to just take this guy. Should be. There we go. No, we just start catching. 9%. Probably because he's on fire. Come on, give me that XP. What, that good, good XP? Me and you could grab this green sphere over here. Right. What is that sound? Oh. <laughs> what? Why? Why would you do that? You were nowhere near me. <laughs> I'm gonna go up now. They one of them just self-destructed on that cliff. I don't, I don't, what the fuck? 
All right, dog. I get it. I'll get out of your frickin' area. Well, a kamikaze, just to prove a point. Holy crap, these things have massive balls. Oh no, the sun's coming down. Let's try finding a nice high point. Try to get a lay of the land. Yeah, let's fly up. Do I not have any food? Have I run through all... Ooh, is that an egg? I spy with my little eye. A large verdant guy. Start going straight up. Keep an eye out for effigies, or, oh, effigy and a blue thingy. Let's grab that. Is that, is that just a river, or is it just a lighting? It looks like lava. I think it's just lighting. Ooh, batch of iron. Pick up this effigy and see what's up here. Could be a good point for a temp base or something. Iron, we have a chest, we'll grab that. More stone here. Is that humans? Ugh, humans. It's a strange, like, stone cropping thing. Ooh. Quick travel point. And a boss, seemingly. I wonder which one. It's quite a few effigies tucked away in this canyon thing. It's like we're nearing a winter biome. Sealed realm of the swift. What is this? A verdash. If I can just get my layer icon away from it, I can see what it looks like. Grab the sphere and the quick travel. Let's see. Green bunky looking thing? I'm not sure what that is, but I want to grab this effigy. Anything to increase our catch rate is highly valuable. The funk effigy. Suppose we'll take this nighttime portion to run around and get what we can for the effigies. We need 11 for the next upgrade. We already had three, and we picked up two in this episode, I think. Or one in the last episode and one in this one. But we're up to about five. If we can in- Hey, what are you doing? You just gonna attack me in the middle of the night? I just moved into the neighborhood. This is how you treat me. This thing's got like a little three hit combo. Adorable. Think you stand a chance or something? Is that what's going on here? Gotta pick a fight with the big dogs. <laughs> I've actually plowed through almost 200 spheres. Ooh, that was an accidental headshot. Whoopsie daisy. Oh well. I got my leather and bone out of it, so that's what we really want. Let's grab this. Oh no, I see more effigies. They're everywhere. Ooh, I see a chest. Let's get that. Sleeping humans, we'll leave them be. Not many benefits to eliminating them. Let's come over here. I see a smokestack. Could be something good in the cage. Let's get the effigy. It's more of those hell zephyrs. We got one of those a while back, and we just can't make the saddle for it yet. This would be... Well, while well, everyone's asleep, I want to look at this cage. What's in there? Uh, it's just a mow. One of those cats that produce gold. We'll pass. Come up here and grab our effigy. Then probably get back to heading north. If, oh no, there's more effigies. Might have to get those instead. Fine, fine, we'll do that. There's like three in close proximity. Definitely have to grab these. Well, this one's really tucked away in the corner. <laughs> I can barely see where I'm going. There's one down here at the bottom of this waterfall. Now, ooh, a dungeon. Go ahead and mark this on the map. Mean little icon. Oh shit, <laughs> my alpha drin's almost dead. I really am running out of food. Or he's just refusing to eat. What is this about? What is this about? Let's go ahead and feed him some memorized meat. Maybe when I'm riding them, they can't auto-eat. Is that a thing? That's something that happens. That would be kind of dumb. Just a little bit. Let's get back up here and grab this effigy. Damn, he's really low on health. I don't, I don't want to get hit by anything. That would suck. It's over here. It's just a little cave. Is that what's going on here? Oh yeah, another effigy. Wouldn't have seen this one from the sky. It'd be nice if there was a way for me to heal these guys quickly, but it doesn't appear to be a thing. Let's get back to heading north. Prioritizing any and all quick travel points. Those should always be the goal. Oh, amount of stamina. Dropping like a rock. Drop it like it's hot. More large verdant eggs. Nice. I need to remember not to hold shift while flying, because in this game, that's just a recipe for disaster. You run out of stamina at like three times the rate or something. Ooh, another effigy. Uh-oh, need a torch. Oh, even a torch ain't fixing this. I am just beyond cold. Let me get this effigy. There we go. Um, well, I'm losing health, but I want to grab this quick travel point. <laughs> can I just fly to the top of this tower? I think I can. <laughs> <There's> no... <laughs> Let me just skip this whole phase here. Oh, falling down. There's a squeeze and... Yeah, it's just squeeze. Nothing crazy here. All right, upsy daisy. I want this quick travel point, just so I can come back here anytime I so desire. It is currently the most northern portion of the map that I've seen. Unlock? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't have to beat the tower or anything. Ooh, is that a boss area? Oh no, I'm gonna die. Let's get uh, let's get out of here. Let's just get way, way away from the snow biome. I'm wearing all heat resistant stuff, not intentionally. It's just how things have played out. Down we go. Start heading a little east, I guess. Ooh, I see another effigy. I guess we'll grab that. Upsy daisy. More eggs. These things are everywhere. They're so easy to spot in the nighttime. If I could choose between having constant daytime in this game and constant nighttime, I would definitely pick nighttime. 
Everything's so much easier to see. It feels like all the cool creatures come out at night. All the cool kids. Now we got a chest. Is this a church? So what's going on here? Like a little broken down. Another large verdant egg. I guess this biome is just a place to find green eggs and ham. Me thinks I'm gonna sneak away now. Right back to my base without getting attacked. Yeah. What? <laughs> Every time. This isn't my base. This is my base. We didn't really catch much that was new. So... Not much to change there, but we did get many effigies. Let's see how many. Yeah, enough to upgrade. We've increased our catching chance. Catch raid capture power, which is great. But this is the end of episode 26 of the Power World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.